Yes, sir. What's going on, everybody? It's your boy Jay Easy, aka Fresh from the Pull Up. Dry. Fresh from the barbershop, BK the People's Temp, coming to you live with another video, man. Check it out, man. Somebody was uh, asking me uh, in, in the comments, you know, how do I have any tips on playing sharpshooter or whatever? Listen, man, it don't matter. Give me that steal. It don't matter what you play in this game, man, as long as you play your role. If you're going to play sharpshooter, the best thing that you can do is balance out the floor and, um, and not like not like what we did just now. But the best thing you can do is balance out the floor and just try to um try to try you almost want to draw the defense away from your playmaker. Cause you gotta have a playmaker if you're gonna play with a sharpshooter, right? So um you're gonna balance out the floor, pull the defense away from your playmaker. If if you've got a smart person playing you, that person should be on you 100 percent of the time because you can't leave a sharpshooter, period. But if you got a if you got somebody uh, playing you that that really doesn't know how to play, you will probably be open. A good amount of time so only thing you want to do is just try to go to open spots on the floor but don't be afraid to run around the floor and um and see and see where the open spots are because like a lot of people that play sharpshooter only thing they want to do is just just stand stand right in one spot like like i did just now just run to the corner a lot of people would just run to that corner and they wouldn't move at all see how i repositioned myself and that drew the defense big boy want to stand in paint trays up splash time now we got we have two sharpshooters out here right now so we have a tremendous advantage but uh it's just it's just a simple fact that people don't want to play defense in this game i don't know why why in uh 2k it's, it's always been like that people don't want to play defense juice what a pull up yes and it counts uh people don't want to play defense so what you want to do is you want to take advantage of the fact that your person don't want to play defense and probably take advantage of the fact that they don't that they just want to lay on the turbo button a lot i don't even know what the hell he was thinking about he probably thought he was a big stretch i didn't even see what he was when he loaded in but you know a lot of times that's what people want to do right right here he don't want to defend me he, he thought he could get me you can't put the ball on the floor give me the green light you can't put the ball on the floor as a sharpshooter man a lot of people think you can't a lot of people think i'm just gonna catch and shoot but um if you take a couple of dribbles, and I have my shot off the dribble maxed out as well, so you can green that. But my biggest thing is, the reason I picked Sharpshooter was because it has the highest rebounding and um, out of anybody that's not an actual glass cleaner or something like that. So I was like, I can play defense, and I can uh, and I can hit jump shots, and that's all I'm supposed to do. What the hell, Juice? Juice! But anyway, I, I guess he didn't think. I thought he was going to lay it up on the front side of the rim, but he'll drop it, but uh, they, they let him. They got him in that animation. But really... Like I said, besides playing good defense, because you, you can actually, with a sharpshooter, I don't know, this dude must be a big stretch, man, but he ain't hitting shit. Um, you should be able to turn your good uh, defensive opportunities into good offensive opportunities. With a sharpshooter, you can literally just run up court and probably pull up at the timeline once you get Hall of Fame uh, limitless range or whatever. But see, I set the screen right there, and I'm, I'm and, and see, I, I went to the corner. I should have shot the ball, but we wanted to get, we wanted to get a blast-ass open shot. So with that, with me going there, I mean, I pulled the defense out, and then now, now two people are trapped down there with juice, and then we just kick it out for the easy bucket. But uh, and I and I tried to pass them a bit to uh, Orange up top in the first place, but you know, it is what it is, man. Like I said, when you're playing sharpshooter, the biggest thing that you can do is you don't have to have wide open shots. You need to have shots that are gonna be open for at least a half a second, because if, if it's open long, like right now, the ball is gone. It's nothing that he can do about it. So even though he jumped, the ball is gone. You just want to get to a spot where your man can't recover because the recovery on this game is a whole manual recovery. You cannot you cannot rely on L trigger or L2 to uh, to, to, to challenge shots for you. And look at right here, I'm just bodying him up. Where you going? Where are you going? And then look at big man. I don't know if big dude is, uh, like I said, I don't know if he's a stretch or whatever, but when he come down here, I'm, I'm just gonna knock the ball off him. Look at that. And you can time the X, like I said, man. Good defense turning to good offense, but that's it doesn't matter who you're playing. But like I said, if you're playing a sharpshooter, just to just to reiterate, balance out the floor, go to different spots, and you know how some people use the um like they like they're gonna run one way there and run back the other way. Use that move to get your man off balance just to give you all you need is a half a second or crack of daylight and you're gonna hit the shot. So like, and don't be afraid to take twos either. You got mid range uh, dead eye, you got long range dead eye. Right here, he should have kicked that out to me but Orange wanted to go to the bucket. I'm blast ass open in the corner, you see on breaks. You go down the middle, let them go to the big man and when they go to the big man, you just flat, you flash to a corner or you flash to somewhere where nobody is. Right there, see right there, I drew the defense, I drew the big man out to, to uh, sit it down in the middle for Orange for the rack! But you know, and and you know, we get the, uh, we got to pipe it up. I got them pipes on reserve. But anyway, man, like I said, I, I didn't even, uh, 
didn't even shoot that much that game. Like like that game was probably a very poor uh, thing of showing you how. But 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 Big Orange was showing you showing you how to do it, man. But like I said, use the fact that somebody is always going to be with you to your advantage. Run your man into other people. Uh, just balance out the floor and always make yourself available to to take that shot. You only need a half a second of daylight to get it off. Don't be afraid to take the shot with somebody bearing down on you because you got a, like a 94 contested shot, so it's going in. You know what I mean? If you if you can take a good shot, it's going in. And also, like I said, I made my own jump shot. I have an attribute video up for you guys later on today to show y'all how to improve your jump shot. If you guys want, then I'll show you how to improve your jump shot, and uh, we can go from there. But I'm out of here, man. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. I hope it helps somebody too, but like I said, make yourself available, balance out the floor, and use the fact that your man is never going to leave you to your advantage, but if he does leave you, he's an idiot, so use that to your advantage as well. I'm out of here, till next time. It's your boy Jay Easy, aka Fresh from the Barbershop, BK the People's Champ. Holla! Be 60 out this month. Fuck.